Hello everyone and welcome to Marvel Mania. For those of you who've watched our earlier videos may have noticed that we changed our name, but feel free to comment down below if you agreed with us or disagreed with us. Now, I personally prefer Marvel Mania, but well, who knows. Anyway, today's topic is pretty funny actually. Throughout the comics, there are countless amounts of extremely cool characters, but then there's also a group of characters who weren't so fortunate in what powers they got. So here is the eight weirdest superpowers. Going for our eighth spot, we have Frederick Dukes, AKA The Blob. Now, The Blob's powers are pretty interesting. He was a mutant and he is obese, but his fat is his superpower. He can absorb bullets, cannonballs, bazookas, and even torpedoes with all of the fat. But even cooler, he can fire them back, traps them inside his fat, and shoots them back. Adding to that, if somebody punches him, he can trap their fist inside of his fat. Now moving on to our number seven, Brian Cruz, also known as Tag. And yes, his superpower is basically to tag. Tag is also a mutant, and he was endowed with the power of the pariah effect. If he tags a person, he sends a telepathic message to their head, which creates this psionic signal, okay? And this signal basically can either, he can choose this, he can either make people run away from the person he tagged, or swarm the person he tagged. So this works both offensively and defensively. Defensively, if he tags his team member, everybody will run away from him. And offensively, he tags his enemy and everybody swarms him. In number six, we have Jones. Yes, just Jones. Now Jones, once again, is a mutant and he possesses the power of technopathy. This gives him the power to control electric devices by blinking his eyes. Now, if you'd ask me, that's a pretty unusual power. But for a number five spot, we have Razorback. His real name being Buford Hollis has the power to, and hang with me here, to instinctively drive any vehicle. Now, if there are any useless powers in the world, this is definitely one of them. Now for our fourth person, we have the Anarchist. His real name is Tyke Alisar. Now, basically, once again, he's a mutant. He has the power to sweat acid now after a while like once he's sweat enough acid he can blast acid through his hands now <laughs> if that's not weird i don't know what is you know actually i do with our third spot we have zeitgeist who again is a mutant has the power to not sweat acid but puke it now his puke basically blasts from his mouth to harm his enemies I have to say that is pretty impressive. Now, getting closer to first place, we have our second spot with Ruby Thursday. Now, Ruby Thursday was somehow able to replace her head with organic circuitry. Now, with this new head, her head was granted many different abilities. Now, I will repeat that. She didn't get any abilities, but her head got the abilities. Her head can grow up to eight tentacles. It can basically shoot sticky blankets on her enemies and by the way the head will regenerate all its lost mass it can change its shape and color it can fire energy blasts and last but definitely not least it can explode and then regenerate i don't know what to say about this so let's just move on now behold the weirdest most useless and dumbest power comes from damar Davis, aka Doorman. So now, when you when you think about it, right? When you think about this character, Doorman, you'd think, well, maybe he has some relationship to doors. But then him being a superhero and all, you'd think, well, it's pretty stupid to have a power that's related to a door. So you'd think, oh, well, maybe he has some pretty cool powers. But no, his power is to become a door. He will stand at a wall, and then you can phase through him to get to the other side of that wall, okay? He is literally a door. Now, to me, that is not only the weirdest superpower, but probably the dumbest I've ever heard. I mean, come on. Your name is Doorman. You can become a door. Seriously. But anyway, that just about wraps up everything that I'm trying to cover in this video. I hope you all liked it. And if you did, please like the video. 
and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now, this video is definitely fun for me to make, so if you enjoyed it, please comment down below and we might make more like this one. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time on Marvel Mania.